Good morning, folks. Fourth month, second day, 2016. 807 UTC. This video is going to be just slightly a little bit different than my normal ones. I'm going to give a shout out to um, somebody I've been working with in the Gold Coast Geoengineering Group on Facebook. His name is Ernie Rolando, and we'll say a hello to him and his friends and family. And I'm going to express a concern. You know, Ernie's been working for years, so um, say he said, told me it's curve looking at chemtrails and how concerned he is about them, and I, I have to agree with him. Chemtrails are a really huge problem, and I'm going to show you today's image from NASA Worldview of the Great Barrier Reef, and I'm going to show you the sulfuric acid injection into the atmosphere, and you might think I'm speaking a bunch of rubbish saying that they're putting sulfuric acid in the atmosphere, but no, I couldn't be any more serious, and I'm going to even show you a little bit of documentation about it. Isn't that right, Budgie? That's my bird. You see how the um, chemtrails here are a different color than the chemtrails here. They're wispier. They're more translucent. And they're sulfury colored. And I know what sulfur color looks like. I live near one of the largest steel works that they, well, it's currently being shut down and for sale in Europe. It's over here in Scunthorpe, England. And I know what sulfur clouds look like because they admit it, all the, admit it all the time here. They're always coming out of things. And I want to show you a few documents here. Here's, here's one from the Royal Society um, from the 13th of November, 2008 talking about using stratospheric sulfate aerosols to mitigate sunlight for global warming agenda. This is when they still called it global warming. Now, they, since they, the facts didn't add up that the globe was warming, they now just call it climate change. And, well, that's a whole other issue. I'm not going to go there. It's how the climate's being changed by putting stuff like this in the atmosphere. And I could provide a link for this. I'm holding it here for a while, so maybe if you want to screen capture sulfur aerosols will perturb the sulfur cycle stratospheric significantly. It's, it's a small perturbation to the total stratospheric sulfur cycle. You know, in other words, they're going to disturb the sulfur cycle by adding more, and it reflects sunlight. And I've had reports from people living in the Pacific Islands of their skin burning during rain and how there are burn spots on their plants and stuff, and I've seen plenty of evidence of that. Here's a, another article of millions of tons of sulfur dioxide to combat climate change by look at this tool over here telling everybody that that should be done. This is one of the people poisoning your planet. You're guilty. You've got a name and address. And you, karma has a big boot. Ken Caldera. Yeah. Well, this is that you proposed in uh, 1982. Okay, so this has been proposed for quite a long time. So there's a little bit of documentation. I'm sure you can find more. It's been proposed at the latest climate conferences the United Nations had in Paris. But I, I just want you to be aware of that. This is the Great Barrier Reef. This is being poisoned. It's being bleached. It's going away. It's a sadness that I can't even begin to express. I mean, look at look at the color. See it? This is sulfur injections. This is sulfuric acid. It's raining down. It's killing your reef. This is bad. This has got to stop. Look at these lines of chemtrails here. Do you see this over the islands over here? Major geoengineering set up here. Huge devices. Well, I'm not going to get into that. See the chemtrails? See it? You know? Come on, Ernie's friends and family. You can't, you can't deny this. This is, this is pollution. This is poisoning. This is wrong. And you guys need to get this to stop. Period. But anyways, this is, that's what I got to say about that. Look at the chemtrails. This is today's images. This is the second, okay, UTC. It is the same day you guys are having, except it's nighttime there. So this is the latest image. It just came in probably about, about three hours ago. So this is it. This is, this is your planet being poisoned by who knows. I'm not, I'm not even going to go there on how it's being done. A crime is being committed. It needs to be investigated. People need to be held accountable. They're poisoning our world. And that's all I got to say about that. Cheers, Ernie. Peace.